Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. In yesterday's video, we did spend the day on the Normandy catching up with all of our friends post main mission, and we also did quite a bit of exploring, but I, f I feel like we're making some serious progress. However, <laughs> there is a smidgen more of exploring and scanning that I want to do before we head back to the Citadel, because that is the goal for today. So we left off in Gemini Sigma. We finished up Ming, but we just have Han left to do, and it's not super large, so hopefully it won't take long. And there's a little ring here somewhere. No? Oh gosh, the Reapers are already a coming. I haven't finished reading the planets yet. Crap. <laughs> so Paraffin is a small, unremarkable rock world. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of calcium with deposits of aluminum. Paravan's low mass has left it tidally locked to the star Han. If there were any resources of value, mining stations could be established on the relatively temperate Twilight Band. I'm all, I'm all a flustered now from the Reapers because they're coming. I'm not ready yet. I got things to do. <laughs> Huntington is a Jovian-sized gas giant with a standard hydrogen-helium atmosphere. Traces of methane give the planet its distinct cobalt blue tint. Spectral analysis indicates its extensive ring system is mostly composed of ice crystals. Huntington has an exceptionally powerful magnetic field, which creates strong radio interference throughout the inner system. Okay. They're coming. They're coming. <laughs> I can just see the red bar ticking up ever so slightly, or maybe that's just my imagination. But anyway, Mavagon is a small rock and ice planet with a thin atmosphere of ammonia and methane. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of tin with deposits of potassium. The planet has a rudimentary ammonia-based life, mainly concentrated around geothermal vents deep underground. Severe storm cycles are common due to limited visibility. Navigation may be difficult. Well, I'm not sure if we have a reason to go there anyway, so I'm not going to stress out about it. A standard gas hydrogen helium gas giant, Farkrothu, is only distinguished by its moons. Several dozen of them have been sculpted into the likenesses of an arthropodal alien race not yet known to council science. They carved their moons? Like, how? <laughs> Why? I have so many questions. Radiometric dating suggests the moons were worked over half a million years ago, like 10 cycles ago of Reapers. I was just like, well, why? That seems so silly. Anyway, moving on. Patatanlis is a large rock world with an unusually thin atmosphere of hydrogen and carbon monoxide. The frigid world's crust contains extensive deposits of uranium and occasionally loads of naturally occurring plutonium. With a total mass more than four times that of Earth, Patatanlis should have a significantly thicker atmosphere. This unusual feature has flagged it as worthy of scientific investigation, but the need for expensive amounts of radiation shielding has deterred interest. Was it maybe inhabited and that's why? Or somebody did something to the planet? I'm backing out to save in case the Reapers get me. Although it does seem to load in relatively easily. Okay, so I was over here scanning and freaked everybody out. And one of you guys have been telling me to scan your planets. So let's scan here maybe? Oh, they found something! Enter here. Gosh. <laughs> they, they just, they come so quickly and they're so angry when they do it. <laughs> I mean, they're the Reapers. And I act this way every single time they come to get me. But I just can't help it. what I get? what I get? Credits? Ooh, I like credits. Uh, I need to try to find... Ooh. There should be a... Faster than light jump successful. Thank you. I'm imagining there should be, oh, 50% done. So 
there should be a fuel deposit that was destroyed. That's what I've been trying to say like the last three times. But I've been failing miserably. Investigate! Oh no, they got me! Oh no, they got me! Oh no. Okay, can I scan and enter? Investigate! Enter! I got there! <laughs> I got the fuel! Now we just have to escape. Oh no, I didn't make it. <laughs> okay, I don't think I can make it. I need to just... I need to just leave. I need to plot Evasion my mass successful. relay. Okay, so we're heading back to the Citadel, as, as promised, and I'll just make a note to come back to Gemini Sigma. And Serpent Nebula... Okay, meet Dr. Bryson Good at Doc 42. Is that Arya's other quest that I don't want to do right now? Yes, that must be. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Hmm. No thanks? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Because I want to go through each level again and check in with everybody. Because I've got lots of... Oh, Cortez is up here now. Lieutenant Cortez. Oh, yeah, that's right. I told him to take some time off. Because I want to make sure that I can check in with everybody as much as possible. Ashley, Arya, Liara, Kanik. Kanik. Oh, that was the arms dealer. Kelly Chambers, Preacher... Who was the preacher? I was hoping Miranda would be back, but I guess not. Miranda's ditched me for a while, I guess, but Cortez. Oh no, it's these two again. I'm sorry, honey. I didn't want you to worry. Chances are I'll never even need to put on armor. I know, and I'm sorry. That's <laughs> what you get for marrying a civilian. Are you and the girls going to be okay? Combat pay isn't as much as I make at the dig site. We'll be fine. The last thing I want you to worry about is paying the bills. Just don't go too crazy with new dance classes, okay? I was in the drop, though. I can't get the girls there on time, and I was probably gonna go pick up an extra shift at work. Oh. Well, we'll make it up to the girls when I get back. Dance classes, biotic gymnastics, whatever they want. Oh, it's so... He's not going to come back, is he? <laughs> He's not coming back. I'm so upset by all of this. Bonus refugees are reportedly fleeing to Turian colonies. Keep going. Cerberus forces have reportedly attacked a Solarian medical facility on Sir Kesh. Solarian officials had no comment. Go on. Refugees from Reaper-occupied colonies are being placed in makeshift camps in the Citadel docking bays. Yes, we know that. Fierce fighting continues as the Reapers occupy most of Palavan. It appears that Turian forces may lose their planet. Oh no. Primarch Victus has requested a war summit of Council races, and reports suggest he has also offered an invitation to the Krogan. He has. We're working on it. Eventually I'll get there. Huh. I feel like some of these are repeats, but nothing else, you two? Where is Cortez? Is this him right here? I think it is. Hi, Lieutenant. You finally made it off the Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. About? Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkal. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. Oh, the Turians are you. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? 
I should have been there. With Robert. But you weren't. You're alive. And that's a good thing. Maybe so. We must get vengeance. No, let's, let's be more positive. We must survive. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody's given up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. And I'm with you. Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look, no guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had EZO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day? Mm-hmm. <sighs> gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. His eyes are really, really blue. I got it. I have to keep my hand on the mouse at all times because those those options pop up so quickly. Your suggestion to come out here was a good one, Commander. I needed this. Good. Your suggestion to come out here was a good one, Commander. I needed this. Okay. No, nothing else. Medical facility. <laughs> like not, not, not exactly. Okay, so let's head to the next level, which I think is. I think it's down where Garrus is at, maybe. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Oh no, it's the embassies. One I lied. <laughs> Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Oh, who are you two? You're new. No? Nothing? Thank you again, Earth Clan. Our military strength is minimal, but we are proud to help as we can. Okay. This was not the Hanar. That's not the bad guy, Hanar. <laughs> Using Hades Gamma as a staging area. Reaper forces have rapidly expanded into the Gemini Sigma and Voyager clusters. Yeah, I was just in Gemini Sigma. They're totally Humanity there. Has suffered a heavy blow as Arcturus Station, capital of the system's alliance, has fallen to Reaper forces. Oh, how's our favorite little Hello, lady doing? What can I do for you today? Such a nice young woman. You remind me of something. Well, I'm looking for my son. He's a soldier. I know. Please, Teresa, are you sure you don't remember me? Calling me by my first name is very forward of you, young lady. I'd rather you didn't do that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I must have confused you with someone else. Oh, no worries, dear. Now, perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for my son. He's a soldier. He's been gone for a long while now. Oh gosh, this is just heartbreaking. It is not going to end well at all. I'm going to come back one day and she's just not going to be there, right? That's going to be an actual thing. Okay, so let's check in with Commander Bailey. It never rains, but it pours, eh, Shepard? Mm -hmm. That bad, huh? Things here are getting tense. So many refugees scuttling about. Rumors flying about the war. People are walking around eyeballing each other and we can't keep up with the reports on suspicious behavior. Hmm. Nothing new. I was hoping there were two Citadel, I'm guessing security officers down outside of the club complaining about not being able to go after someone. And I was hoping Bailey might give me a quest for that, but it doesn't look like it. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy. We got more ambassadors. But that's nope. just the tip of the iceberg, really. It'll probably get worse before... Yeah, if it ever gets... Mm-hmm. That's kind of unfortunate. But I'll check in with Udina. I don't expect much, but... I'd rather do it anyway, just in case. Shepard? 
Nope. I should go. I'll be here. Wait, political situation. Shepard. I should go. Oh, nope. I'll be here. <laughs> I'm clicking too fast. Shepard. Political situation. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human. Oh, yeah. Rest okay. assured. I know I can move mountains. I should go. I'll be here. Okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, for two right now. But we want to go into the Spectre offices here and see if there's anything to approve or click on. And also, partner benefits increase. Reservists called to active duty are not drawing full pay because of the scale of the galactic threat and the massive funding required to match salaries and partner benefits for so many on short notice. Using Spectre Authority to mandate salary matching for all personnel with partners or dependents on the Citadel would require cuts to tax incentives and post-war economic stimulus goals. Really? There are that many people? There are that many specters to... Hmm. I mean, I think I should authorize it because the partner benefits, that's like their wives or husbands or, you know, partners, basically. Plus their kids. So, and if something happens to the specter, they should be looked after because... Right? And I can't imagine it's going to cut into it that much, but let's let's try it and see. I can always live to regret my decisions later. <laughs> Anything here that I need to purchase? It doesn't look like. Black Widow, again, most of my money. Citadel Defense Force. Interesting. Okay, that was, again, very not exciting. Let's try the next floor. <laughs> I keep hoping that Lieutenant Cortez's husband is just going to randomly show up. You know? It could happen, right? I don't think it's going to, but it could happen. Reports suggest he has also offered an invitation to the Krogan. Any, anything else? Oh yeah, that one. I always come in at the wrong Welcome, point in the loop. Please okay, the... Let's go, we'll do the bar last, because I want to. Oh, I also need to go to... Hmm. I need to go now to the... Arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Everyone's interrupting. I need to go to the commons to, I think, talk to that arms dealer. Because I think I picked up something for him. Has suffered a heavy blow as no, it's fine. We won't be needing your supplies after all. No, we found a better variant of Metagel that allows oh, yeah, that's for right. an even so, higher absorption rate among aquatic species. Let's check in with Thane and see how he's doing. Coming by again, Shepard? I'm flattered. Hmm. Does Keppel syndrome hurt? Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer pro we as did a result. Do this. My as for my brain. I cannot. And we did I know we did do the less. The the rest. Not I the I wish less. the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Be nice, but you're not. Anyone over here receiving therapy today? No. Let's check with Dr. Michelle. Hello again, Commander. You're to see our patient? How is Ashley doing? Very well. Her rate of recovery is amazing. I still want to keep her under observation, but she should be fit for duty soon. Okay. Keep Same up the good update. work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Oh, yeah. Since we've been here, Ashley has decided to become a specter. Sorry, scientists. Tell Matriarch Athena that our huntresses should have the upgrade oh, yes. waiting for them. Did that the quest next already? Trip. No, they were very Uh oh. I believe you were looking for these prototypes. You found them? Thank you. These biotic upgrades will save a lot of Alliance lives. We'll begin production immediately. Here, for your trouble. Thank you. Which quest just completed? I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, and I have a new quest. Erm, herm. AP and Crest banner. Nope, couldn't have been that one. Biotic amp interfaces. Nope. 
Ah, uh, Ismar Frontier, prototype components. The scientist is searching for the missing prototypes. Yes, it was this one. That one was updated, but I have a new quest. N7 Cerberus attack. Cerberus has taken control of an old military installation on Tachanka for unknown reasons. Land on Tachanka and neutralize whatever operation Cerberus has in the area. I've got several quests in the um, Krogan DMZ zone, I think it's called, that I need to do. That's kind of what I was hoping to do after the Citadel, but I'm not going to hold my breath just yet. Okay, I need surgery, but when can I get back to the front? You're not. What? You have extensive nerve damage. Once we remove the leg, we can't install a prosthetic for at least five weeks. I told my squad I'd fly back next week. I'm sorry, but that's impossible. Why would you tell them that? I mean, I know you want to go back and be with your fellow soldiers, but... I, I mean, I guess you're just overly hopeful. I guess that's a thing, but I'm just too realistic. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Ashley. Look, she's up and at him. Good to see you up and around. Yeah. Everything all right? I guess. Oh, I took Udina's offer. Spectre or status? Congratulations. Seems small compared to what's going on. Being a Spectre? You ready for the responsibilities of a Spectre? Doesn't feel real yet. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. What do you think of all this? Well, Ashley, I think you earned it. You're a fine soldier with an impressive record. You deserve this. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon. Once I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? Good question. I guess that's up to Adina. Sure. Let me know. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. <laughs> Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? I heard from my mom. They got out in time. They're okay. That's good. great. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But her husband was killed in action. I'm sorry, Ash. Thanks. Yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. It's just the start. No, okay, we don't need to go that way. Everyone is affected. Yes, let's try that one instead. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. Seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know. But I'm her big sis, you know. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? Invictus by Henley. One of my dad's sappy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. And thanks, Shepard. But your sisters got out, and your mom, and that's something, right? It's quiet up here. It is. It's such a pretty view, too. Weird that it's so peaceful here with what's going on. Yeah. Anxious to get back at it. Okay. Great view. Saw a few places down there I'd like to check out. It's quiet up here. Weird that it's so peaceful here with what's going on. Uh, now we're repeating. Ugh. Ashley and her family and this guy and his leg and... He's like, I'll be back next week, guys. No problem. I I have to think that his, his squad mates would be like, yes, of course she will be, knowing that he absolutely would not be at all. I just like how I stumble into returning <laughs> quests. Hey, I've got your stuff. Don't even know who you are. <laughs> Which is odd considering the last time I was here, it at least had names on. No, I guess that is it. Thane. Hmm. Am I supposed to be doing something else with Thane? I rune. Hang on. 
Irun. It's a Volus world. Oh. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Okay, to the Presidium One Commons moment, we please. shall go. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Okay, who's here? Liara, General, Araka, and Kanik. I need to sort this situation out so that Liara, not Liara, so that Arya is happy. After all, it's not like I'm the reason you're breaking up with him, right? It's the war. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. You said he'd been distant and that the war made everything clearer, that things weren't working. Yes, but meeting you was what made me realize how bad it had gotten. I just... I'm not the one who broke up your relationship. Really? Was it someone else who pinned me to the wall with her mouth? Oh dear. <laughs> I really hope you didn't talk to your husband yet, because it sounds like you two are not going to be together for much longer. All right, those two were sorted. I still need to do his quest. Okay, everything here is done. <laughs> but then again, like, maybe you too deserve to be miserable because you cheat on your husband and then you were going to dump him when he's going off to war. Now your mistress is like, oh, uh, no, I'm not ready for that kind of commitment. All right, and these two here. Right now, the Turnians and the Alliance are fighting for you. I'll send the Alliance a card. As for the Turians, well... I pay my taxes. Uh, That's disgusting. No, disgusting would be the tax rates for doing business on Thessia. Like I told Councillor Dina, if I wanted to get screwed by the Asari, I would have returned Benezia's calls. This guy is, uh, not, not so great about volunteering for a double shift. Are you insane? We're hardly getting enough sleep as it is. Well, if I'm not going to sleep, I might as well at least make myself useful, right? That... Yeah, I'm tired if that argument makes sense. Maybe I should volunteer too. We won't be the only ones. You talked to the others, didn't you? Why am I not surprised? Yeah, but I saved the best for last. <laughs> Well, maybe you guys should actually get some rest. I feel like doing medical work when you're half awake is not a good idea either. Nope. Nothing there. You two look new. No. Nope. Let's talk to Kanik, because I think I have something for him you're now. Back, huh? Any luck out there? Yes, I think so. Here, I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. Okay. Mm. Terminus Fleet. I probably had a bunch of war assets that I should have looked at, but I, I, as usual, I failed. I can't talk to Joker. Edie? Is it time to return to the Normandy? I'm getting propositioned with increasing frequency. <laughs> Is it time to return to the normal? Okay, okay, I'm we'll go. With increasing frequency. General. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. Finally. Is that quest done? It was... No, not here. It was Aria Blue Suns. It's completed, so it must be done, right? I thought there was another... Kite's Nest? Pillars of Strength? I feel like I've... I've gone there. Oh, that's the Preacher down in the dock area. All right, let's see if Liara has anything new to say. Hello, Shepard. Nice to see you. I missed this place. It's good to be off ship for a while. Hello again. That's it? Really? That's... OK, 
okay. Nope. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> oh, any, any more updates from you two? No? I see breakup coming. <laughs> Maybe the next time I'm here. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Okay, hold an area. Please. We'll turn in that item to the preacher. Now Probably. arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Okay, so we've got Garrus, Kelly Chambers, and Preacher. Oh, and let's see if there's anything new in here to... No, I don't see anybody. Maybe next time. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, am I in your way? There were two over here talking. Can I ask, where were you when the Reapers... Did you shut up? <laughs> I'm sorry? I don't want to hear it. You humans think you had it rough? You know what happened on Karshan? My apologies. I thought since your homeworld... Stop! Just stop! Oh, Poor guys. All right, the preacher is seven, which is over here. Oh, I should probably save. I haven't done that in quite a while. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in bay D-24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of the faith they could get. That's good. So then, what was it? Kite's Nest? Kite's Nest is complete. Okay, perfect. Anybody else? Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Can I have like a discount? I'm so, I'm so mean. I'm like, hey, I helped you out. Can I have a discount? I'm so awful. So awful. All right, there's Kelly again. Let's check in with her. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I need to apologize to you. Why? About what? Back when I was your yeoman, I betrayed you. I didn't mean to, but I did. What? What are you talking about, Kelly? I would send reports to the elusive man about the emotional state of the crew, including everything I knew about you. I thought we were all on the same team, that I was helping you, protecting you. But looking back, Aren't you a shrink, like a psychologist of some sort, and you couldn't see his intention wasn't, like, good? I... It's not okay. You did what? You spied on me? You didn't trust me? I trusted you implicitly. I still do. I thought I was doing my job. I'm so sorry. It doesn't matter what you meant. That's just not right. Shepard, I... Oh. I... Oh, no. I didn't mean to make Kelly cry. Oh, no, we got to fix that. All right, here we are. Back with Kelly. Let's fix that. Shepard, I'm glad you came. About what? Back when I was your yeoman. What are you talking about, Kelly? I would send reports. I thought we were all on the same team. That I was helping you. Protecting you. But... Looking back. I'm still not happy about this. I gotta say, you did what? I thought that, I mean, I know it's a renegade option, but still, like, <laughs> it went in a way I didn't actually want it to go. I wanted to be more like, I'm sorry, what did you do? And then from there, be like, it's not okay, but it's okay. But, like, it's it it's not okay, but it's what's done is done. At this point, you can't change it. But seriously, how did she not, like, see that he was a sneaky guy? Like, we all, like, that was so obvious, but... <laughs> it's, it's fine, whatever. Don't worry about it. You were there for me. And I kind of like to keep a close eye on me. <laughs> and I kind of enjoyed looking. Thank you. That means so much to me, Commander. Yeah, I wish I would have stayed with the Renegade now. <laughs> I'm not reloading again. These refugees have no place to go. These refugees have no place to go. But maybe with the Paragon option, she won't go off and, like, do something awful to herself. And I can have future conversations with her. So there is that. Right? Right? 
All right, let's check with Garrus. Maybe he'll have something nice and new to say to me because... What about the food we were promised? It's because I'm me. It's to the Presidium. Then contact Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vicarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. Yeah. Hi, Garrus. Can we, we can't, I can't even talk to him? Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? <laughs> hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Arya. Why are you here, then? Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Arya. Okay. All right. I guess that's it. I can't even talk to Garrus. I'm so upset by this. I feel like I'm making poor choices today, having bad conversations, everything depressing and horrible is happening, but... I wasn't on Karshan when the Reapers came. I was above it. A ship? A weather satellite. I'm getting weird readings. I'm network admin, so I went up to check the hardware. I'm unscrewing a panel when my radio goes quiet. Then I noticed these red dots on Karshan. Thought I'd just stare in the sun. Then I saw the smoke. Reaper ships. Bastards. Oh, I'm glad you. I'm glad you opened up and talked to somebody. It's 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 good, right? All right, I'm, I'm making absolutely no sense. Let's go talk to Arya. <laughs> That's simple, right? Welcome, Commander Shepard. Purgatory One Bar. Moment, I feel like Shepard needs a drink at the bar, but she can't get one. Now arriving at ward level, so I thought about talking to Commander Bailey some more about that guy scamming the refugees. Yeah. Really? What did he say? Any idea how busy he is? I said I thought about talking to him, not that I did. Damn it. One of these days I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> nah, you won't. I'm the only one willing to stand here with you all day. Shut up. Can I help, like, solve this situation, please? I would happily do this quest with you guys going on down there like is that like the VIP section of the club I want to go nope I've got the group of guys in here right those Cerberus bastards had us assholes shit they just kept coming and coming and not even sure from where fucking hell and poor Bilal they didn't have to take them out like that. Brutal. 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 I feel like that's a repeat, but it's still good. I gotta figure out how to find that planet or wherever he is. Listen, Mel. And then I wanna see dancers and not just crappy pole work. Mel. Like, take the raunchiest thing you can imagine. And then oh my gosh! Hanar hanging on somewhere. Mel, listen, the guys are kind of weirded out by you being here. Oh, but she was like, just wants to come hang hang out and, and do what you guys are doing. It's so mean. All right, let's save in. Uh, Ma'am, I think you lost part of your pants. Like, I, I think you lost a significant part of your pants somewhere. Look who's here. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? Always. So, Blue Suns... Is Darner Voss cooperating with you now? Getting General Araka off the Blue Suns back did the trick. Voss still thinks he'll be getting me on mine, idiot. <laughs> but he's committed his veteran soldiers to me. In turn, I commit them to you. Thanks. My new task force? What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty, to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse Max and Vorcha Legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. And then Omega, we've already done. So see Whatever you later. Say, Aria, don't be a stranger. I won't. You're my girl crush. I have to come check on you every time I'm here, ma'am. Ma'am, you need some new pants. <laughs> I mean, I know it's like supposed to be for reasons, but like, mm -mm. you need new pants. 
Check in with James. I'm just gonna hang here for a while. Can I get a drink? Salute. From anyone? Like, so not okay. Let's try upstairs. <laughs> Maybe they'll give me a drink. Or is she too busy dancing? Nope. She's still too busy dancing. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Drink! Yes! <laughs> Can we drink again? Can we get drunk again? <laughs> Remember the time the Citadel when I got drunk and Jack just shook her head in shame of me? <laughs> well, there we go. That was a different. More drinks, please. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Shepard, where are you? <laughs> Aria. <laughs> it happened. Yay! <laughs> it's like so much better with Aria. Just like, ugh. Why are you here? <laughs> That was great. I loved it. Totally worth it. <gasps> and I can dance now. What even is happening? <laughs> I mean, it's better than like last time, right? Over here is like pointing his finger like you need to stop doing that. Can you please stop doing that? <laughs> Anything else gonna happen? Is it just the same thing over and over? Same thing over and over. <laughs> oh, I love this game so much. <laughs> Alright, I guess we should go back to saving the universe. Ah. <sighs> No, nothing. Nothing. I'm surprised Miranda wasn't here. I was hoping she'd be back. She needed a moment to think about things. Maybe it hasn't been long enough. Because I did a main mission, so I thought, you know, she would be here. Let's just double check. Mav. Arya. Liara. Garrus Kelly. Thane. All right, I guess I guess we have to go back to the Normandy. Um, I can fast travel here, though, right? Yes. So I think what we'll do is we'll check in on our war assets. Soldiers, thank you. And in we go, very slowly. War asset terminal here. Now I've got a, a something to look at now. It's my, what was it called again? Crucible. So alien, Terminus fleets, updated. Blood pack. This private security group is careful to maintain its image as a professional mercenary force. In reality, the Blue Suns have drifted further and further into becoming a full-blown crime syndicate. Despite that, their ruthless tactics are sought after in the Terminus systems. Yes. So they're all recruited. Then Alliance. First Fleet. The SSV Ajankor was one of many Alliance ships that saved the colony world Elysium from pirates and slavers during the Skillian Blitz in 2167. In order to stay with his vessel and crew, its captain refused promotion after the Blitz. Oh, interesting. The Third Fleet. The SSV Nairobi is a top-of-the-line cruiser with the showroom finish of a ship 
just off the factory line as it has never seen warfare, the Nairobi's officers have been running mock battles in preparation for real enemy contact. Okay, well that's that, and everything is caught up there. Well, I am going to pause here for today, so in our next video, which will be on Wednesday, we are going to head to the Krogan DMZ because I've got a bunch of quests there. I want to ideally poke around a bit first and then eventually make my way to the, where is it? Turian Platoon quest, which is on Tuchanka which is in the Krogan DMZ and I've got several quests well several being two quests and I want to avoid the priority one not sure how all that's going to work out but I'm sure it'll become more obvious once I get there but anyway as always thank you so very much for watching please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Wednesday with another new Mass Effect 3 video